Greetings. Today I will solve binomial distribution question for unknown trial number n. Please have a look at this question. Condition of large number of tickets is a requirement for binomial distribution. Probability is given. I like to approach this type of questions to convert the given language to math symbols. Probability of random variable x is greater than or equal to 1 and we need to find the least number of red tickets providing that probability more than 0.96. Let's start with the probability distribution graph on an external source. Probability of at least one red ticket should be greater than 0.96. So I just sketched the first graph for n equals to 10. Some of the red pieces should be greater than 0.96. Let's try 11, 12, as you see, probability is increasing. Now 13, 14 or 15 is the potentially the answer, not 14. And when n equals to 15, we obtain our answer. Let's go to our device and do a similar approach on a table. On the graph screen, there is no place that I can enter binomial CDF function. But still, I can click on the catalog button press B and scroll down to find binom CDF. Similarly, if you go to second tab, you can find all the calculators functions according to strengths. Find distributions and binom CDF here. Wizard is on, then we'll type whatever given. We don't know n, but here on the graph screen we have to write it in terms of x. Probability is given at least one don't worry we don't see anything but if you press ctrl t you can see all these values it's a split view if you press command 6 or ctrl 6 on windows machine so you can split the graphs you can see the table here so you can scroll down and you can see the correct answer here as well that was the first method Let's approach the question differently. Probability of x greater than 1 is given, so I will just consider the complement of this trial, which is probability of random variable x less than 1, and the probability will be less than or equal to 0 0.04. That means when x equals to 0, probability is less than 0 0.04. We will use inverse binomial distribution option, but for this one, we need the left area, so x must be less than or equal to certain value. Go to calculator screen, press menu, probability, distributions, and scroll down for option D, inverse binomial for n. Cumulative probability, as I said, it is the left area, 0 0.04, probability of success is 1 -fifth and x equals to 0. Click on matrix form then you will see both 14 and 15 and their corresponding probabilities. As you see the values are the same. The reason why didn't we use n solve is we don't know the exact probability. We are just given a range. Probability was greater than 0 0.960 so we couldn't find the exact value. So and solve is useless for this case. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.